Hey guys and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another locomotive review. Today on the reviewing stand is the EFE Rail Range by Backman. The locomotive in choice we will be looking at today is a J94 locomotive. So on the front of the box, we've got the EFE Rail Range logo, uh, the the Backman website and the scale, what is 1 in 76. Going to the side of the box, there's not much on both sides, on three sides, you've just got the EFE range. On the back, you got a bit about the EFE uh, Rail Company. And then you've also got the um, the authentic, like the the legal stuff, shall we say? So, coming round to the side of the box, the product code for this model is E eight five zero zero four, class J ninety four, Amazon National Coal Board, and it is weathered. It has a next 18 pin DCC socket, so if you do want to um, DCC the model, you can just get an 18 pin DCC decoder. So, let's get into the box here. So, we do have, the first thing we do get is a EFE rail uh, manual. Well, a little leaflet about the model. So we've got a little welcome to the range, uh, how to run in, model spec, what has a coreless motor, it's saying here. And a next 18 pin DCC decoder. Cleaning and maintenance, so how to take care of your model. And how to lubricate. What is nice also shows you how um how to store uh kind of gives you a little bit of information on how to store it how to fit your dcc decoder what seems pretty easy all you got to do is just take off the smoke box door by the looks of it then obviously you got the warranty and a nice little exploded diagram on the back so put that to one side this isn't the first J94 I reviewed on the channel. I've reviewed quite a few of these. And a couple of them were EFEs. So it's nice to open another one of them. So inside the box, obviously we got this nice thick foam. What is very, very nice. I do like this packaging. It's probably one of my favourite packaging out of all the retailers. Um... Just look at that. Look how thick that foam is. Like, it's it's decent quality. Like, they've actually put some thought into their packaging. And then in the middle of this lovely thick foam is the ice cube packaging with the model in. Oh, so, let's get into this. So, first thing I noticed when I've opened this up is this a little goodie bag so we got some uh by the looks of it vacuum pipes uh some of the the actual hooks for the couplings and a little plate to hide i'm guessing some bits underneath the boiler um so that's nice i think the only things i would fit is the little hooks for the front of the loco in the back um but I need to get some plastic glue before I end up doing that. So let's get and see what she is like, shall we? So I have had this model for a while. Um, and I have fitted a realistic coal load. Uh, just kind of the standard thing I do to my models. Uh, to all my steam engines anyway. Um, so the coal load that you see on this is not the original coal load. The original coal load doesn't come out. This is just glued on top of it. Okay. Just move the box out the way. Okay. 
And here she is in her glory. So before we get into the details, this model has weighed in at 155 grams. Um, so just like uh, the Longmore Military Railway uh, 195 and Wagoneer that I reviewed um, a couple of weeks back. So the consistency of their models seem to be pretty, pretty good. So that's three models, three completely different models. Uh, well, the same model, but obviously in different liveries with different little bits on it. Um, are all still weighing in roughly the same. So the consistency of their models is pretty good, looking pretty good so far. So first thing you notice on this model is the weathering. It is very nice indeed. I do like the weathering on this model. It's not too heavy. It's not too thin, if you get what I mean. Um, I think they've got it just right on this model. Obviously, we have this lovely, crisp, green, uh, lined green livery underneath the weathering. Uh, what shows through, what is very nice. Uh, for what I can see, there are no imperfections um, on the livery application. Um, all the red lining that's around the tank and the cab is nice and crisp. Um, couldn't see any, like little paint spills or anything like that so that is nice to know we got this lovely amazon printed nameplate um with obviously red background with yellow or goldish writing what is quite nice we have these beautiful separately fitted handrails and i believe they are metal um, they feel metal, so that is good quality there. Yeah, they're metal. Lovely. We've also got a separately fitted step on the side of the tank and another separately fitted handrail down on the running plate. Coming lower, we do have some separately fitted uh, steps, some separately fitted brake block, uh, the brakes and the brake blocks. Got this lovely red rod that is quite heavily weathered, but looks the part, looks very, very nice. Um, and the, the wheels are painted green and so are the axles. So it just hides that there are two different parts there. So that is very, very nice. Coming to the side uh, we'll see which way the turntable's going today. Okay, we're going to the front next. So, coming round to the front, we do have sprung buffers and a NEM coupling. We got this lovely uh, red buffer beam that is slightly weathered with plenty of rivets going around, what is very, very nice on the detail part. You do have a couple of holes to uh, put your extra detail on, so that is nice. The, uh, the buffers are sprung on both, so that is nice. You do have the separately fitted dart on the smoke box door. And obviously this smoke box door is a whole separate piece. You just peel it off for the um, DCC. Um, so that is nice. You got these, uh, lamp brackets at the front, another separately fitted handrail at the top and another lamp bracket. So coming around to the other side is pretty much the same. Obviously the the weathering is going to be slightly different obviously on the front as well on the tank you do have that lovely red crisp lining so coming around to this side uh you got the separately fit handrails again and the steps 
uh, you do have some other little pieces on the running plate um, that I'm not quite sure what they are but it is molded but it's extra detail there you do have your directional uh, lever thing here I believe that sets the direction that uh, that bar um, so that's nice that that's separately fitted uh, we do have um, some cab detail if I can just zoom in so we do have some nice cab detail in there it is painted what is very very nice um, obviously it's a little bit dark in there bring it a little bit closer to the camera you do have some nice planked effects on the cab floor the glazing is nice and flush so there's nothing i can really complain about that coming to the cab we got this lovely um pipe here that has been weathered that's just on the one side of the model obviously got separately fitted um handrails going into the cab what is nice there is a separately fitted reverser and uh handbrake in the cab as well so that is a very very nice touch we got this lovely builder's plate and i'm guessing the colliery logo it used to work at i think i'm not too sure what that is um if somebody knows please let me down in the comments below that would be muchly appreciated uh, obviously you got this lovely crisp lining around the cab what is just very very nice indeed coming round to the back of the model you can see the lovely flush glazing with the um, the bars across it uh, to stop any coal when loading breaking the windows so you got a little uh, hatch that you could open from the back of, uh, inside the cab with a little lamp bracket on got these lovely three lamp brackets at the bottom uh, with the light crisp lining around the back of the bunker do we have sprung buffers yes we do we have sprung buffers on the back and a NEM coupling with the two little holes on the buffer beam uh, for the extra detail there is rivets on the back as well on the buffer beam so that's a nice little touch um, by backman there and then the coal is crushed up real coal that i've just added to the bunker so that's just my own little touch uh, that i i tend to do on the locomotives so now we've taken a nice uh, look at the model oh I forgot to do the top my bad guys so we have the valves at the top the little safety dome and so the two little separately fit handrails and the molded water cap and the chimney so that is not really much to miss out on at the top so let's take her to the layout and we'll see how she runs here we are over at the layout. So I've got her, I've got her on the outside track here, and we'll give her a little test. Okay, she doesn't seem to want to move right now. There we go. She just needs a little nudge. pretty quiet um she jolts a bit when she does go slow Let's see if we get her to do a decent crawl here no she keeps cutting out in the same it could be my track because i've been having some issues with locals just cutting out on the track so it could just be my track but we'll see there we go Obviously, with my layout being taken apart and up again, all that, it could be the um, the fish plates are just come a bit not as tight fitting. So that could just be the issue. 
There you go. There's a nice little crawl there. Okay, so as you can tell, there's a bit of the running. Um, I'm gonna get her hooked to a little freight train here, and we'll get some running video, uh, some running videos. So let's get her started. Oh, she wants to move. There we go. And she's off. So joining her is the uh, joining the little industrial theme. We have a little thirteen forty six or something like that class locomotive shirt button uh, in GWR green with a couple of GWR uh, four wheel coaches. And then Amazon is pulling um, a rake of some of my weathered, privately owned wagons. Joining them on the layout today, we do have the two new Rapido Hunslets, a BR Black 08. We have a Peckett, a Class 14, and a couple of National Coal Bores, liveried locos at the back. And now we will get into some running shots.
And there we go. There is the review on the EFE Backman range. Class J94 Amazon in weathered green. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video as much as I've enjoyed making this. If you did enjoy the video, please hit the subscribe button. It is free. All it does is let you guys as viewers um, be able to get to your, uh, your favourite channels that you like watching more easily. Um, it's all free, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, if you also enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. What is the thumbs up down in the bottom left corner and hit the notification bell. So every time I upload, you guys get a notification. So you guys don't miss a video. I am trying to upload one video a week. That is my target now. Um, so we're going to hopefully get there. Um, and I will see you guys in the next one.